Welcome back my computer duders. I was gonna do that anyway, you're not the boss of me. Only Tony Dan's is the boss of me, and, and all of us, spiritually. None of this is scary, it's too hard to follow, there's too many characters. If there was one overarching story that all the notes told a little part of, it'd be much more effective than what they have going on here, which is like snippets into other people's lives, none of which has to anything to do with the fucking spooky ghosts. Shit. This is the building those people fell down from. It was on national news. Oh no, national news. Gravity, nature's oldest killer. Cool stock Unity car models, brah. That's not true, these are some pretty good models. They're not super high fidelity, but they fit the environment and everything kind of fits together aesthetically. Some work went into this. This is clearly... Oh, do I take a picture of this or no? I do. So what's this guy's job? Why? He works for a gang, I want to say. Because who would send somebody here to take pictures of this and... and why, why would this guy have debt with his employer? <coughs> this is some kind of gang thing. I'm getting old enough that I attribute everything that scares me that, and I don't understand to gangs and to them fucking teenagers. Oh, what the fuck is dubstep? Oh, no, it sounds like Optimus Prime farting out his kidneys. Blah, blah, blah. Drop the bass. Uh, if I ever took you on a fishing trip and you dropped the bass, I would whoop your hide so fucking hard that you would bleed out your eyeballs. I love you, Billy. Assuming you're my grandson, I don't really remember too clearly. Oh, that's not irritating. Right in my ear. That's really where I want, where I want it, right in my ear. Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, okay. Parking structures, man, that's a good, that's a good horror and trope environment. These are spooky as fuck in real life. Cause you don't know, everybody who's seen that Seinfeld episode knows it's never safe to pee. Even if you get lost, even if you can't find how to get to the bathroom, if you pee, Im immediately a security guard will find you. And you'll be known as the dude who p pissed in public, and nobody will care about the context. I learned so much from Seinfeld. He's so wise. His collected writings, and of course, B movie, should become the new Bible of I'm future the old civilization. Building. Hello? Hello? What? The bats are ghosts, too? The f final puzzle piece falls into place. What would you do if your own penis was a spoopy ghost? Oh no! Not the rest of you, only your penis. Like, sometimes I've wondered about superheroes. What if, like, in superhero origin stories, something happens to their whole body. Like, their whole body falls into a vat of chemicals or toxic waste and they get superpowers. But what if only part of their body got exposed? Like, what if uh, Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk, what if only his dick got stuck into that radiation machine? So when he, he gets horny, his dick turns into a giant green Incredible Hulk dick and bursts out of his pants. But the rest of his body stays the same, and his heart now has to struggle to keep up with the blood requirements of supporting that giant green pickle Rick Dong that, you know, sprouting out of his pants. Imagine that. How would he fight crime with that? Oh, well. Why would you bother to tie a noose if you're just going to jump off of this anyway? That same guy is still hitting on me. I don't think he can take on a bipolar girl like me. Marissa still warns me about him. She told me that Sorn gave her the same creepy feeling, like that character from the movie American Psycho. 
P.S. A street fortune What the fuck? That me. guy was awesome. I thought that was a motivational movie. My whole life is a lie. Especially puberty. Puberty was one big lie. How could my own balls betray me? He runs with his phone out. Don't, don't shoot me, I have an iPhone. I'm not poor. Like in case cops see him coming out of the structure. We better shoot him anyway. That's like an iPhone 4. And anyways, it's an iPhone, not an Android, so... No big loss, right? Mm. Any spoopy ghosts in here? Spoopy ghosts, reveal yourself to me. In all your nude glory and majesty. And splendor. Oh, awesome. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Wow, that's really fucking super. That reminds me, superstition. Um, in Malawi, Africa, there's a, been a spate of killings recently because the locals have become terrified by rumors of vampires. I'm not making this up. So I haven't kept up on, with Tumblr, so I don't know exactly how this is the fault of white racism, but, but presumably it is, and that we we force these people to believe in vampires and to kill one another to prevent themselves from being turned into creatures of the night. That that would be bullshit, though. Come on, you, there can't be black vampires. You wouldn't be able to see them coming. They would be too OP. Like how Batman should have been black, because the way he is now, he's got that pasty white mouth sticking out of the bottom of the mask. That realistically, everybody would shoot at. They wouldn't shoot at the bat symbol. They'd shoot at his mouth because it's like. Oh. Oh, who the fuck? Boom! What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hello. Come on. It's good to see you. Please help me. Don't tell me you're doing something stupid like hunting for ghosts. Ghosts. Okay. Hunted for ghosts. Well, I'll tell you then. That's enough. Some people have gone crazy here, and they're going to kill each other. You want to maybe, I don't, I don't know, just throwing ideas out there, maybe get your penis what out. What the hell is going on with this maybe, place? Uh, there are ghosts rub it together with my penis. Kids? My daddy is taught me not to be ashamed of our, of our penises. Yeah, you have to hurry. Sometimes I put it so hard, I rip okay, the skin. Okay, but where's the exit? <laughs> go straight that way. Then you go down the stairs, the door will be open. I can hear just, just a single over. line from that Please porno. Please don't tell my dad about this! And I laugh every time. Like, all I have to hear is, Oh shit, I'm sorry. And it fucking cracks me up. You can apply it to so many situations. Anytime there's three dudes in a room. And if they've all seen it, it immediately becomes funny and uncomfortable. Which is the best kind of funny. Oh, sup, brah. Oh, it was just... Why is that scary? This is just regular food. I mean, it's on a giant plate, but... He wasn't eating like a dead body. He was literally just eating a regular meal. It'd be like if you're playing Resident Evil and there's a zombie hunched over going, Oh, nom, nom, and you're like, oh shit, that's some dude's guts. And then he turns around and it's like chicken nuggets. I just really fucking like chicken nuggets, and I look gross. That doesn't mean I'm a zombie, you racist. Hey, hey, hey. Don't go in there! Why is that, Albert? Are your psychic ghost senses tingling? Many things on my body are tingling. All the time, they never stop. It's really hard to sleep. 
But no, that's just clearly fucking hot as shit! Is that just a disabled person? Am I terrified of a disabled per- Oh, cool. Is that Mr. T? It's, oh, it's not Mr. That would have been the highlight of the game. If they just randomly had a picture of Mr. T in here. But why is this... He's got a glass of water, some oranges, and some ramen. Why is that scary? He's just a disabled guy. He needs proper health care is what he needs. Let me spend the next 20 minutes giving a politically motivated speech about the necessity of universal single-payer health care. Ah! Oh, you got you guys again. You looking for your penis? Are you trying to take mine? You can't have mine. There's not much to it, but it's it's mine. It's all I've got. Oh, the, oh, it's a party. It's a party. Rose. You're not letting me leave, that's assault. <laughs> oh, maybe that's how their dicks disappeared. They got spooped so hard their nuts just got sucked up inside their body and pulled their penises inside out with it. So that's what happened to me just now. I'm pretty sure I can coax it out. It'll, t it'll take a couple days maybe, but Give some warm water and soap. What if I steal your orange, you piece of shit? What will you do about that, you little bitch? What door? What what door to open? Jeez, I sure wish I could read this, but it's in Thai Thailander. Just tie, I guess. Yeah, I could fap to this. Okay. Cool fanfic. Two stars. I wonder if anyone would notice or stop me if I dressed up like a maintenance guy, like in a gray one-piece one jumpsuit and a gray cap, and went into an office building with one of these jugs to, like, replace the water cooler jug, but it was my pee. Only I had been very careful to drink only clear fluid, like, only water for weeks so that the pee would be mostly clear and they wouldn't be able to tell through the colored plastic that it was pee. And then they would drink my pee. That's that's the entirety of the plan. That's where it was going. It's not some fucking grand scheme. They would drink my pee. But maybe they would decide, in fact, it's a flavor sensation, and they want me to come back. Give us more of your pee, they would say. It's savory and has many delectable, subtle flavor overtones, suggesting herbs and spices of an exotic variety. See, this is why mini disc never caught on. Or those little tiny discs for fucking PSP. There's gonna be something behind me, or out in the hallway. Oh, what the fuck? What was it? What is that thing? Oh, is that a... Oh, it's that lizard. Why is a lizard scary? Are lizards scary in Thailand? Alright then. Sup, brah? Do you want to touch penises? I don't think it has one. I think lizards do some kind of gross thing. Oh, whoa! No, no, no! No, no, no! No! Don't be behind me. Okay, that was my first legitimate spoof. That was fucking terrifying. If I saw that coming down the hallway, I would not just shit my pants, I would shit your pants. 
I would find you, unbuckle you, and take a dump into your fucking pants. Not that way. That's where the fucking spoop went. Oh! Oh, no! No, it's gonna come at me, isn't it? Oh, I, I don't like this. Oh, I don't know about this, Rick. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez, oh, Rick. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, I remember No Face. He was a fixture around the office. Everybody loved No Face. Ah, they're they're all No Faces. Ah, 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 ah. What are you covering up for? The human body is beautiful. You don't need to be ashamed. What if I get mine out? These are probably just generic. Like, they did a Google image search for Asian businessman. Took the first ten results and then just blurred out the faces in Photoshop. And that's why there's no faces on there. Like, it'll make sense in the game because the blurred faces will be creepy. But this way we don't have to pay anybody to take pictures of. Oh. If you ignore your problems, they go away. Is the, is the takeaway here, I feel. I only ever had one really spooky paranormal experience in my life. It was really lame and didn't... There was no larger meaning. That I didn't figure anything out. I was just walking home from school. When I, I, was, I was younger. I was a teenager. And uh, I saw a shadow of a, of a person. I was to set the stage more. I was on the sidewalk and there was a car coming. So, you know how when there's a moving source of light, the, a person's shadow sort of moves, but is always flowing away from where their feet are? Like, that's the point where the shadow starts? Well, I saw that kind of shadow going away from somebody's feet of a person, uh, and it was moving as the light source moved, as the car pulled up and then pulled went past. But there's nobody there. It was as if, like, that's where the person should have been in three-dimensional space for the shadow to be coming from that spot. It's one of many probable tricks of the light people have seen and interpreted as ghosts. I'm more incl inclined to believe. Like, there was, there was perhaps somebody, I don't care what's behind me. I don't care what's behind me. I don't want to look. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. Oh, fuck. I'm too slow. Mentally, I'm too slow. I always have been. Oh, it is the spook. It is the giant spook. Oh, no. It's another giant spook. I fucking told you! I said, oh jeez, nobody ever listens to me! Nobody ever listens to me! Rick doesn't listen to me! No, you don't listen to me either! Ah, oh, jeez! I'm sorry, Morty. I should have listened to you. Now quickly, Morty, touch penises with me. It's the only way, Morty. We have to rub our penises in oil and touch them together. Rick, you say that every time. That's your solution. That's your solution to everything, Rick. I'm starting to think you're just kind of some kind of old perverted old man. You're not going to stop me. There's fucking bigger spooks than you behind me. If you want to fight me, go fight those spooks. That was fucking boner tingling. Consequences will never be the same. Oh, hello, baby. Your shirt is as, is as wrinkled as my lewd foreskin. I meant to say scrotum. Whatever. I'll get it in post-processing. Probably I won't. I'll forget entirely about this. Forgetting about your problems also works. So does escaping into VR to, to get away from them. 
I need to get out of here. This place is too oh. dangerous. Oh, now it's too dangerous. Oh, yeah. Rude. Rude. What if I wanted to go in there? I didn't want to go in there, but the ghost didn't know that. <coughs> Ghosts are rude. I'm glad they're dead. Don't haunt me, ghost. I love you. You're handsome. You're so handsome. When I hear spoofy music, I'm just like, okay, start running. Start running. That was the worst chase, though, because I was actually being chased by something fucked up and, and, and scary. Giant spoofs are the worst, like in Silent Hill 4 when you find that face. Or in Narcosis where there's that one room with that giant dead body in it. It doesn't... It doesn't matter that it's surreal. Like, surreal horror is kind of in some ways more effective. Because you don't know what it's supposed to look like in real life. So there's no way to be wrong about that. Wait! Avia! Wait! Oh, hello. Who did this to you? Oh, I can see my own eyeballs. I've only been this high one time before. Can I? I oh, dude. What have I discovered? I'm so fucking smart. Dude, when you motivate me with boobs, I can do anything. Nice. Nice. I kind of want to be that size. I want to be a little man who just lives between a nice pair of boobs and builds a little log cabin and subsists off the land like our ancestors did in their wholesome lifestyle. Uh, can I live, can I live on your boobs? No? Well, I'm going to keep trying because I never learned about boundaries. Why do you have to be so emotionally distant? Just let me get close and nuzzle your boobs. It's it's a beautiful thing. It doesn't have to be sleazy. They, they have nourishing energy. And it remind me of when I was a baby, suckling off of my mother's breasts, which is a gross thing to think about now. I didn't know. I was just a stupid fucking baby. I was like, mmm. Milk comes out of this big squishy thing. That's pretty cool. So far, the world is okay. Oh. Sometimes I have a dream where I'm still a baby and I'm still nursing. Oh, yeah. And I wake up and I'm sucking on a pillow. And it tastes pretty good, so I keep doing it. Marissa went apeshit today. This is the first time I've ever seen her like this. Maybe I shouldn't tell her that I- Oh, uh, 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 what? Marissa went- I already love him. Oh, no, it's like a soap opera. Don't fall for Soren, no. I know he's a sexy bad boy with cool tattoos. Women can like bad boys, that's their business. If I'm, if I've got the right to make poor choices romantically, then, then so does any woman. This is America. Shit. I'm pregnant. <laughs> what should I do? I really want to talk. That escalated quickly. I like to imagine she wrote that five minutes after the other one. Like he, he got in, impregnated her, and got out in that time. Like some sort of semen ninja. Nobody can withstand the power of the semen jutsu. I've watched every episode of Naruto. And I'm unstoppable now. Okay, these people knew each other. I'm gonna say some of them worked at the hospital. 
Um, some of them are in a gang. Oh! Well, if it's going to be like that, I'll just go straight to you. And we don't have dicks to get out and rub in oil, but you know, it's the thought that counts. And everybody has a spiritual penis inside of their heart. And you can metaphorically rub that in oil with another person's spiritual heart penis. How about that? Oh, she hovers too. We all float. We all float down here, Georgie. You'll float too! He did, good. he did a good job. He's not Tim Curry, but he did about as good as... Like, he, he went in a totally different direction with Pennywise, and it was effective in its own right. He was more monster than clown, whereas Tim Curry was more clown than monster. Like, Tim Curry was leveraging everything creepy about clowns to make the monster scarier, whereas... The new guy who played Pennywise in the remake was playing the character of It, which was only superficially a clown. Uh, well, well, uh oh. -uh. No, 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 no. No, please, please, no. My butthole is so tender and raw, I can't take another pounding. Uh oh, can I close this? Stay out. Stay out, I'm masturbating in here. No! What did we say about privacy in this house? Was she supposed to catch me? Oh no. Now that's a twist. You didn't sound like your heart was in it that time. Do you get the same... Do you not get the same pleasure out of twists that you once did? I haven't been happy in a long time. Your first twist is magical. The whole world seems colorful, bright, and new. But then after your 30th or 40th twist, you need them just to get out of bed. How do I get out of here once she starts going Are scary? Oh no, I can't do this. No, please. I can't go that, that way. Can't go that way. I have to go this way. I have to go this way. If I can't see her, she can't see me. Really? She ran straight past. Now I'm chasing you, bitch. How do you like it? Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. I chase oh, shit. Oh, shit. She doesn't like it. Oh, it backfired on me immediately. Oh, no. Uh. Whatever, saw boobs. It's still a victory. So ch chasing ghosts back doesn't work. You can't spook the spook master. Okay, so I'm supposed to jump over that furniture, it turns out. I'm gonna try to get some panties this time with my phone. Are we I see some light. I saw like two pictures. She sounds quite upset. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Go, 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 fucking you fat slow bitch, go! This was not here before. This was a closed room. <laughs> oh, 
painful ball contractions. Oh, that the left one's never coming out again, I don't think. Yeah, let me stop and watch a movie. Ooh, sexy time. That's how I want women to attack me, not as giants with the ghosts. I want them to attack my heart and make me feel again. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. No, 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 who lights candles in bathrooms except for like high school Wiccans? Which are the fattest of all high schoolers, invariably. I think they, they hope that they can cast a spell to... Uh, I think the spell's called Bulimia, though. That's the only one that works. Oh, sup, What Ganesh? is going on in this place? How does this kind of stuff end up in a hospital? Well, you right click the asset in the asset list and then you paste it into the world and then you drag it around using the X and Y arrows and Z until you have it in the position you want. Is this Shiva? This is some kind of fucking heathen god. Please do not offer my god a peanut. Oh, well, hello there. Just a second, I'm doing this for, oh, I can't get low enough. Wait a minute, what if I, perfect. Uh... I'm just looking for my contacts. That's all it is. I'm so glad I talked to Marissa. I can tell she's. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, I deserve that. I deserve that. I can't move, some shit's happening. I'm locked in place. Where am I? What's happening now? Uh... Marissa? Marissa? Look at these fucking Barbies. I appreciate the authentic culture. It's not like in the uh, fucking job of Pokemon where the rice balls were changed into donuts. <laughs> Sonny Brock really likes donuts. That's a really stretched out selfie. I don't think whoever edited that got the aspect ratio correct. If I go here, is something going to pop out? You best not be popping out. You get the same thing as Imp Scott. Why don't I have a shotgun? Why am I not the Doom guy? Every horror game, I, you should be the... Okay, I just started in this fucking room, apparently. I'm having good fun, though. This is really heart-pounding. This is what VR is for, man. This is what I want more of. I just want it to be better. Resident Evil 7 is gonna fucking... Oh, it went away. It's gonna transform my whole fucking face upside down and inside. I'm gonna need reconstructive surgery after it blows my mind apart. Get out! Bart, get out. I'm pissed. Wouldn't that be a huge downer if you met like a really sweet girl who had all the qualities you wanted to spend the rest of your life with and then you happened to men mention something about pissing and she got really excited and into, into it like, yeah, yeah, like misread it as a cue that you were also into like piss play when you're not. 
And then you had to find out that way that she's super into golden yeah, showers. And that the only way to make the relationship work is like to piss on her. It could be worse. She could be a furry. Why is she running from me? Why is she... Open up your heart to my love. I only want to love you. Oh, okay. Whatever. Fucking beef jerky looking motherfucker. I've seen about 30 of you now. I'm right here. Pol Polo. Polo. Maybe don't come at me as a giant spook this time and put some clothes on. Just because you're dead doesn't mean you get to be a fucking nudist. Please, don't do anything to me. Well, you can do some things to me. After we carefully negotiate and establish a safe word. Okay, I've been this way before. Have you seen the the, the uh, Kermit cover of Wake Me Up Inside? Or the Goofy one, the fucking Goofy Evanescence cover. I want that played at my funeral. In fact, I would die early if I could have the rights to play it at, at my fucking funeral. It'd be worth it. Think of the memories that would make. Like Everybody would have to take it super seriously because it's, it was my last request. How could you read? My eyes like an open book, or whatever the fuck the lyrics are, I forget. It's not important. Nothing Evanescence has ever done will ever be important. Get out! Apparently hating on Nickelback is low-hanging fruit and it's not cool anymore, but Evanescence is still fair game, I feel. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. Yeah! Oh, shit's getting grosser the further I go. This is probably a good sign. I'll continue in this direction because I have no self-preservation instinct. Now it's just straight up blood. You don't have to cry about it. You're making me feel bad. I warned you that it was not pretty it, under, my, under my pants. I warned you, you know, I told you it was big and I didn't lie. I didn't say what shape it was. I didn't say how many. Come back! Ah. Oh no, it's the fucking spider spider clown person. Spider clowns are the worst. They're fucking eight floppy penises tipped with those honking red spheres. Uh does this go anywhere? Are you fucking dicking around with my... With my heart? Oh, hello. Ah, ah, oh, oh. Okay, that's a sign. By Kromdar, it's I'm a pregnant. sign. Are you shitting me? How many times did you do the test? Oh, God. Not the reaction I was hoping for. I didn't mean it like that. But I'm not ready. You're not ready. What about me? I'm sorry. I'll figure something out. What do you mean you'll figure something out? Just let me handle this. What I'm going to want you to do here is get on the bed, aim your pussy towards the window, and close your eyes. I'm going to fucking jump and do an elbow pile driver on your pregnant belly and hope that it just fucking rockets the fetus out and into the sky and let the sky have it it'll be a sky baby it says so right in the bible Marissa. <laughs> it goes like straight into an airplane engine <laughs> oh well talk about escalating quickly isn't this a lovely room of meat this is like what, what fucking PETA has nightmares about. 
You okay there? You want you want a Tylenol? Why am I continuing? This is for sure the point where I feel like she should turn back. Okay, that's locked, and if I turn around, some fucked up shit's gonna be there. R no? You wanna have a key? This is really anticlimactic if I come all this way and brave the meat room. Marissa? Marissa? Oh, alright. Polly, I? It just didn't trigger. I went for an ultrasound with Sawn today. I feel bad not telling Marissa. I know that she's still pissed off at Sawn. Alright, you know... Maybe Arya is actually a cool girl and she's just really into meat rooms. And it's just a weird hobby she has. How could you do this to me? Hey, we can't raise it anyway. Why would you keep it? No! You bastard! I won't give you my baby! Fuck! Stop this shit! I just want the baby! Have you been tricking me all along? Stop! I said stop! Uh, uh, son! What did you fucking do to me? Arya? Marissa? Arya! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, well, she's tiny. No. Probably he was right to have her abort it. I want to go with you. If she tried to give birth to a child, it was a full-size human. It would just explode out of her like a chest burster. Oh, well, all right. I didn't... I love you. I want to see that. They all left me behind! <laughs> She's also big a, a big fan of rushing straight at people. Well, I think that's enough for one episode. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm way over time, but I couldn't stop playing. This is actually getting really good and interesting. Now that I understand a little bit more of the characters, not that it really adds anything to the story at all, but at least I'm, less, I'm a little bit less lost. On this episode of Lost... Yeah, that's a good stopping point. Um, bright, happy trees ahead. Surely this part of the game will be different from all the rest. Look at these murals. It will be a fun adventure where we learn how to count and we learn the difference between various shapes. Uh, and the, the best shape is triangle. The best shape is triangle. Anybody who doesn't agree goes to the punishment box. Um, stick around. Keep your eyes peeled for the next episode. Hit like and subscribe. And uh, remember, the power was inside of, of you all along clawing desperately to escape. <laughs>